Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a pretty short video. I just wanted to show you something I've been working on. I recently purchased the Microsoft Duo 2. Um, I really like it. Uh, this is not really a review video of this. Uh, it works well, I enjoy it. It's really good for car traveling, but I did not have, and I could not find a good mounting system for it. So that's what a 3D printer is good for, creating something that doesn't exist. So I designed this quick little system here. If you notice, it's got two slots. It's got a cutout in the back. And on the back, we have super glued a little ball joint that I found on Thingiverse. Um, I didn't want to reinvent the wheel. This worked really well. I already owned uh, a cup holding stand here that had a nice ball on it. And this extends up. And so I decided just to not reinvent the wheel. And um, after designing this, I had some thoughts about maybe making a socket for this to fit in. But I'm thinking, you know, five hours or four hours of designing multiple prints to make sure I got my design right, or I could just super glue it. So I decided to super glue it. Now this is a little different than the one I found and I will put the original link in my um, description. Uh, it's 113% bigger than the original to make it fit that ball, but I'll upload the files onto my Thingiverse and you can find that address in there. But the way I designed this, it can actually go in two ways and I actually have three different configurations. So one way is the full length way here. So now you got both screens completely visible. It'll be mounted and so forth. Um, and so now the second way, um, give me a second, I'm gonna pull it back out of the, out of the cradle. All right, so the second way you can do it is you can actually put it in this way. That gives you two screens, but in the landscape uh, port. So this is really useful for like having uh, Google Maps up here and then something down here. Like I've actually run Google Maps and Waze at the same time, uh, just to see how they're different sometimes. But then the third configuration is where you can actually put it in like backwards. Uh, let's put it in this way and then pull the screen down. And you actually have a single screen. Um, if you want to just save the battery life a little bit, just not empowering both screens, you can just power one screen and load up anything you want on there. So uh, let me throw it in my truck real quick and you can see that and we'll call it a video. All right, here we got it in the car. Um, secured the base. I've attached the ball joint. And one thing you might notice here is this little cutout. And I designed that around this nine, um, this little right angle, 90 degree angle. So I can come in this way or this way. And when it's in the up position, you can actually come up here. So let's see what that looks like. Here we go. Let's do lengthwise. So that's, you know, basically the idea. And then we can do like that. And then the final configurations we can do So there we go. I hope you like it and like I said, check the uh, 3D models out on Thingiverse and I'd uh, love to see if anybody does a remix or prints this as is and uses it. You guys have a great day.